I'm here today at Marden Sports Complex, home of Adelaide Blue Eagles, who play in the South Australian version of the PS4 MPL competition for our Ones to Watch series, thanks to PS4. Now, let's face it, throughout time, and especially recent memory as well, Australia has produced some very, very good goalkeepers. Mark Bosnich, Mark Schwarzer, Zelko Kalitz, to name just three. Well, the gentleman behind me, he's a player on the rise. Michael Catford, he's coming back from an ACL injury. He's showing so much talent, it's not funny. Let's find out why he's one to watch. Michael, tell us about your, your football grounding and uh, where you are at the moment with it. When I was younger, um, I think it was reception, all the boys in my class all wanted to play football together, so I um, sort of joined Ingle Farm Football Club on the sixes and yeah, became a goalkeeper that year and just been playing football ever since. So here's the thing with goalkeeper, not a lot of kids want to do it, no. especially under sixes, under sevens, under eights, because they all want to score goals. What made you want to go back there and were you, did you volunteer? Oh, originally I did, I remember um, off season we did indoor soccer and um, I went in goals and had a blinder and um, ever since then, just love the feeling of saving goals. When did you realise that you actually, not just enjoy doing it, but you're actually pretty good at it? Under 12s, under 13s, got picked for um, a few district teams and a couple people said, you know, like, you're not too bad at soccer. So I um, sort of, yeah, thought I'd take it a bit further and try out for some good teams and really put all my effort into it. The role of the goalkeeper's changed a little bit in the last 20 years. Obviously, you, you not only have to be a good shot stopper, which I'm sure you are, but you have to be really good with your feet. Have you found that as well, that, yeah, that adjustment? Yeah, that's definitely challenging, playing with your feet. Um, in training, we do a lot of kicking and you know, passing exercises because that's a really big part of being a goalkeeper now. What about this club, um, what it means to you? and Tell us about your history at this club, why you came here and yeah, what it means to you. So I came here under 15s and um, sort of got on the, under the wing of a goalkeeper called Gino Di Lecce. With his help, you know, I sort of went straight to the first team and I was playing at senior level at the age of 16. So, oh, wow. Yeah. How was that experience? Oh, it was nerve wracking to start off with, but yeah, nah, I got used to it and got my confidence up and started playing well. Um, tell us about the injury, mate. It wasn't all plain sailing when you come into the first team. You, you picked up a pretty serious injury. Yeah, it was the year after I sort of came into the first team. I was the number one goalkeeper and played a few games and did well. But um, unfortunately, during training, I tore my ACL. One of my players, he sort of done a bit of a dummy, shook me around in goals, and I've stepped and my foot stuck and I've just twisted my knee. And it's, I didn't at the time think I'd done it, but um, yeah, soon found out how serious it all was. You realise you can't play and especially when I had the surgery, the knee reconstruction, it just, yeah, you can't, can't play sport and it's just a bit heartbreaking. So what'd you do? Fill in the time? Oh, a lot of FIFA. <laughs> get, my, get my tactics up on the, on the PlayStation. What do you want to do with football? Where do you want to be? Oh look, I'd love to go as far as I can, really. Um, I've always had dreams of playing in the Premier League overseas, so. You've had a little taste of overseas football. You went overseas to do some trials not that long ago. How was yeah. that experience? No, that was great. Um, went to Italy for a few weeks, trained with a few clubs, and it was great to see what football was like over there. It's so professional, and yeah, the quality of football is over there is fantastic. So, With the, the PS4 Player Pathway Award, um, do you reckon that, as well as the FFA Cup, is help, helping bridge the gap between MPL level and also A-League level, like helping a lot of players at this level get noticed? Definitely, absolutely. Being able to play with the big clubs in the FA Cup just really sort of... Um, it's an incentive. Yeah, exactly. Yep, just to keep working like it's not that far away, you know what I mean? What about if you won the PS4 Player Pathway Award? You get the chance to trial with Sydney FC, the youth team. Ever allowed yourself to think about that? Yeah, changed my life, I think. Yeah? Yeah. What's about one day that FIFA that you were playing relentlessly when you were injured, <laughs> you ended up on FIFA? Yeah, I've thought about that before. What team would you be on? Oh, definitely Chelsea. There you go, I thought so. Yeah. Couldn't help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.